So there's a lot of, you know, talk about women, women empowering themselves and, you know, especially post 50, like I talk a lot about what it's like to be a woman after, you know, you turn 50 and, and I'm all about women's independence and I love seeing women taking a stance on who how they want to show up in life and not just conforming to the norms of what maybe they should be I'm all in favor of that couldn't be more excited about that however as someone who works with couples and works well my favorite way of working on a relationship is with the individual and not so much as a couple together um but as someone who has done a lot of that in my life and as a woman who also is going to be oh boy i should know this but i i'm gonna say 28 years married in december <laughs> I bring, I feel, a lot of experience and I, there's a difference between what I just mentioned before about women sort of acknowledging their worth and that of someone just, you know, feeling like now that I'm independent and I don't need you, that just gives me even more of a reason to go towards separation or divorce. I mean, the, the fact that it's much easier now to obtain a divorce and how women are doing it freely and quote unquote easily, much more than, I mean, years gone past, right? And with our parents' generation, et cetera. Um, it doesn't mean, just because you can do it, it doesn't mean it's the right thing to do, right? There's a clear difference or it, it doesn't mean you should be doing that. I mean, of course there's times where, you know, there's, to me, there's two main reasons to end a relationship and I'll get into that, into that. But I think, I think what we're missing in society is, is remembering, you know, the whole sacrament of marriage. Now, you could be somebody who's, I mean, doesn't believe in God or doesn't believe in the sacrament of marriage and, and, the, and the meaning behind, you know, being married in a church or in front of, even it doesn't have to be in a church. It's, I mean, most, most people, I'm going to say most do not elope, um, but in and maybe less and less are getting married in a church and maybe are doing it more in front of many, like in front of their friends, in front of their families, in front of a community. You are committing in front of people that you love, people that are being of witness to you, that you are committed to this person. I mean, it is an act of commitment right there, whether or not it's in a church or not, or whether or not it's in front of God or not. And I want you to think about that a little bit more. You know, you did make a commitment. And to me, a marriage, the, the two pillars that a marriage stands strong on are commitment and trust. And I, I take this mostly from the work of the Gottmans because I am a long-term Gottman therapist and I believe a lot in their work. And I love the way they talk about these two being, you know, the, the standing walls of any relationship house is that it is based on trust and commitment. There's a lot of things that we do in life that, you know, we're not crazy about, but we signed up for. And we we got to show up each and every day reminding ourselves that we signed up for this and it's just not a matter of getting tired and or losing interest and therefore i'm not going to do the work anymore 
And, you know, I'm saying this because of also the, like the plethora of gray divorces out there and how people are using, you know, their children as like mini therapists or something like that. And they feel just because they've re reached adulthood, this means that I can now share all my grievances about, you know, their father or their mother with them because I see them as equal with me now as a, no, that's also not right. And because, I mean, I see these young adults in my office and they often, you know, that's why they're there it is they're struggling with this. Um, and it shouldn't be shared to them about their parents' struggles in their relationship. Now, before you stop this video and just think, you have no idea what my life was, you know, married to my partner, and I couldn't be more happier now not being married to my partner. I 100% believe that. And I'm very happy for you that you have attained that level of happiness. Um, there's there's absolutely reasons for for a marriage to end. I mean, I obviously we can go into like the minutia and the nuances, but this is this is not what this video is for, right? It's it's for like I just obviously I don't know your specific situation, but this and this video is not meant for your specific situation. I'm just sort of giving out a very broad, like my perspective, um, that the main two reasons why a relationship should end and need, need to end um, would be physical abuse. Obviously, there's just non-negotiables in that way. That's a huge, I mean, I don't need to talk about that anymore. Um, the other one would be emotional abuse and emotional abuse too. I mean, there's, there's, again, that's highly nuanced, but emotional abuse, um, I think let's just try to simplify this as much as I can in, in a short video. But to me, emotional abuse would be when one of the other, when one partner is so self-serving so serving to their ego they're in some sort of ego drama that like they 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 are they are so much in their own this actor in their own screenplay that they have no idea what's going on on the outside like they're serving themselves above anything else anyone else and to me that that is emotional abuse towards their partner. You can't do that in a partnership. It's they're called your partner because you're you're in a partnership. You you need to focus on your partner. You need to focus on the greater community as well. I mean, it's it's just there's time to focus on yourself and I maybe I'll talk about that in in another video but i'm just talking about the sacrament of marriage here and and how we we have to bring that up again and 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 st start talking about that more because it is a sacrament it's something that you committed to and it's not just a piece of paper that you know can be torn up and 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 just mo let's move on to the next you know well i gave it a, a pretty good chance let's move on to the next one it's much more than that um you know quite often when i'm working with relationships like the topic of conflict often comes up it's sort of like our communication is breaking down and you know again in the gottmans they talk about the four horsemen of the apocalypse you know coming in and that being criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling, all four of those behaviors in, in a relationship will, will ultimately ruin the relationship, contempt being the worst, because contempt is, is um, the, the one that's most 
involved with like sort of serving the ego instead of the greater good of man. And, um, but that's like conflict is just one piece in what I feel is sort of a triad of, of why, not only why relationships break down, but sort of like why people are, are not happy nowadays. Um, the other two extremely important pieces here is that, you know, marriage is sort of a person being able to collaborate with another person. In, in other words, problem solve with another person is very, very important. And it's sort of like, it's, that's where we're not just serving ourselves, we're serving another person because like, okay, you know, there's a problem here. I sort of want this and you sort of want this. What can we do together to work it out so that we're both happy? You know, like how do we problem solve in, in order that we we both we 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 both feel like you know we're we're getting something that we we want out of this. It's not only about compromising, okay, well. I need to coalesce now in order to make you happy. And, and that's where people kind of get lost a little bit. Like, you know, especially if you're someone who's um, Christian like myself and it's sort of like, okay, well, you know, I need to be kind, I, you know, in the eyes of God and therefore I need to give up everything that I want um, in, in, to be a kind and loving person and give it all to the other person. That's where I think a lot of Christians go into guilt and shame. And, and believe me, if you're in there, like it's, that's not a place we want to live in, you know, not a mental state. We want, we, we can survive in basically um, that's, that's something we really need to, get help for because it's it's not not only is it not serving you it's not serving anyone and, and you, it's not serving your partnership it's not serving your your community around you and it's not serving humanity in, in any way shape, shape or form um but that that's one is sort of your community around you that's the higher purpose that's the meaning of life to serve others, but unless you're loving yourself and you have some self-esteem and self-worth and, and seeing how you are equal, you are shoulder to shoulder with your partner, you are eyelash to eyelash, that, that is a partnership. So we, we need to serve the greater community. We need to serve humanity. Um, but it's also the idea of, of collaborating with one another that's so important. Um, so it's, it's self-love. It's collaborating with another person, working with another person, being side to side and seeing that person as your equal and being two adults who can problem solve, um, you know, and, and not use their children as their therapists or, or compete against that other person. No, you are an equal partner with that other person. Let's problem solve. And um, the whole idea of knowing how to, I don't want to even say fight because it's not about fighting. Collaboration, self-love, and serving the greater community is, is the way we need to approach life in those three areas. And if you want, I wrote a post on this on my LinkedIn. I wrote a post. Um, you can also sign up to, for my newsletter uh, under my website, LuellaYoung.com. These are two ways of, of finding out more the way I work with relationships and I work with individuals. I hope that helps.